Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rafael Prosodontist and today we are going to talk about Toronto Bridge or Timbell Crown Bridge. For this uh, kind of restoration, we should have a scan by this scanned in the mouse or on casts and we should use Timbell Crown workflow and we should uh, add Pontic also the uh, work grunting for uh, timber crown workflow checked and because we don't have separate scan for gingiva and uh, scans and the casts and the scan uh, markers are included in the scan that we made from the cast we use a scan body in the main scan okay and we are going to design part so we use the files uh, a scan marker and the cast gingiva and the upper jaw uh, we use two uh, dio narrow implants and we let the software recognize the position of the implants. After that, uh, software need to check the intrusions. Sometime uh, when we uh, scan the cast, there are some uh, parts that doesn't collide as it should be. And in software, we could uh, solve this problem. Okay. Sometimes software that couldn't do this and it lets us to cut some parts or freeform the scan data and also we can skip this part but it's better to uh, freeform the cast data okay and in this part we are going to uh, show the software where the gingiva is and where the margins should be and then uh, align the tools with uh, the chain tool. Uh, of course, first we could go with the chain, but after that it's better to use it separately and use uh, movements to have better individual position for each tools. Okay, as you can see, we have some small intrusions with the upper jaw and uh, we could define the margins for the abutments. Okay, as you can see the positions are not uh, acceptable, the cervical area are not uh, in proper position. So, we go back one stage and put the teeth in proper positions. We should put them in uh, a little bit lower. Perfect. And in this part, uh, we should check the intrusions and cut the intersections we have with upper jaw and with the neighboring tools. After this part, we should uh, define our gingival part because we have a kind of processes called FP3 and this kind of processes has a gingival part that uh, covers the gingiva. Of course, this type of processes is hard to clean and the patient should use the water jets and some kind of special devices to clean them but it's far uh, more aesthetic than the FP1 so in case that we have uh, a patient with good ability of uh, hygiene we can use this kind of prosthesis and we should follow it and check it up Okay, in this part we can check uh, how the final restoration should look like. Okay, 
as you can see the gingival part doesn't feel uh, the interdental parts so we should uh, refine it and we should uh, form it. so it could be both aesthetic and hygienic perfect and uh, as you can see the gingival parts mix uh, the real tooth very well in this part we check uh, whether our scans uh, whether our timber crown are in proper position with uh, gingiva and we form the gingiva so we could have final restoration with proper uh, anatomy and we can uh, change the position of the margin so the margins be in good position that we could make the crowns as it should be and something that we should uh, uh, check it in the design part is uh, where the screw channels are because uh, the screw channels can ruin our design and as you can see in the left abutment it will cut the incisal edge of our, the timber crown. So maybe it's better to reposition the tooth a little bit and after that we can have our uh, height that we needed for proper retention. Okay, and after we uh, checked our margins we could make our uh, superstructures. Okay, the superstructures are offered by uh, software from uh, the restoration that we made in the previous part, and we, of course we can do some uh, change to it and add in some connectors and we are all done uh, of course this kind of uh, temporary restoration on the uh, timber crown uh, is not our final restoration and because of casting procedure and some uh, change that maybe we need to do in the final part is better to uh, re-scan and make the upper part or superstructure of the dead. Thank you everyone, have a good day and I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Mm -hmm.